Now, away from political parties and the fight to eradicate corruption amongst government officials, socioeconomic rights and accountability protests have has charged public officials to declare their asset to the public that made the revelation at an interactive session on Tuesday. Galaxy's Valerie Choma was there and now reports. Corruption has been on the rise in Nigeria despite the various tactics employed to dissolve it. This formed part of discussion at an interactive session put together by Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP. Speaking on behalf of the group, the Deputy Director, Kolawale Oluwadari, while reflecting on theme, promoting transparency and accountability in asset declarations by high-ranking public officers in Nigeria, says the constitutional provisions that make for asset declaration should be obeyed, as this is the only way to eliminate corruption. From all views, uh, it would appear, and there's empirical evidence to support this, that Corruption is on the rise in Nigeria, but there is a growing awareness, and I say growing because it's, it's, it's been high for a while, of how dangerous corruption is to us as a people, and now we need to fight it. The constitutional provisions that made provisions for asset declarations should be obeyed by letting citizens have access to public declaration, uh, asset declaration forms of public officers. After all, as part of our advocacy, and uh, we had sent it to all governors in Nigeria, that's uh, two years ago, 2019. On their part, Joseph Amenagawa and Mobisola Odimegu says government bodies should promote transparency and public officers should be held accountable while in office. If you are a public officer, you are accountable to the public, you are accountable to citizens. So if they really want to know, you know what your assets were at the time you came into office and the assets you have when you are leaving office or while you are still in office, they are entitled because these people are taxpayers. The remuneration you enjoy as a public officer comes from them. So if they want to be sure that you know, funds are not being mismanaged or um, things are going as they should, they should, be, um, they should have access to that information. And one of the key things that SERAP is looking at is enabling citizens, ordinary citizens, have access to asset declarations by public officials. So this project is about promoting, enabling citizens to access records of uh, asset declaration in Nigeria. If you tighten up the asset declaration framework and you make it almost impossible for people to wiggle out of it, it means that all public officials will be on their toes. Meanwhile, one of the keynote speakers, Ibrahim Arabi, the Director General of Bureau of Public Services Reform, emphasized that the government has set up agencies to scrutinize the actions of government officials to ensure that there is no illicit activities carried out by them. The, the CCB and the EFCC and other anti-corruption agencies have these powers now to check the activities of government workers and see if they, there is any sign that somebody is living beyond his means. They have that right to stop you on the road and say, I've seen you driving so-so car. How did you acquire it? How are you? So they have this, uh, uh, this powers to check, uh, to check this. And what I've been calling for is a total cultural orientation of not only government workers, but Nigerians in general, so that we improve on that our culture of truth, uh, accountability, transparency. Valerie Chioma for Galaxy Television News, Lagos.